Hello everyone, my name is Chris, and today we're going to be talking about the SparkFun Quick Dynamic NFC RFID tag. Now, I have a couple of questions for you about this board. Do you want your project to be able to log up to 8 kilobytes of data and then be able to read it using your own smartphone, even if your project is powered off? Do you want to be able to write Wi-Fi credentials into tag memory using your smartphone and then be able to read them over I2C so your Arduino board can join the network? How about if you want to be able to manufacture and test your product and then program it with keys or other credentials just before you ship? All these things can be done with a simple board. The SparkFun Quick Dynamic NFC RFID tag features the ST25DV64KC from ST Microelectronics. This board features contactless interface with a Type 5 tag certified by the NFC forum. It supports all ISO IEC 15693 modulations, coding, subcarry modes, and data rates. It even has custom fast read access up to 53 kilobits. What really makes this dynamic tag special is its EEPROM at 64 kilobits or 8 kilobytes. Its write time from I2C typically is about 5 milliseconds for 1 up to 16 bytes, but from RF, it's typically 5 milliseconds from one block. Finally, the data retention on the memory is about 40 years. Data protection in user memory for this board is in 1 to 4 configurable areas. It is protectable in read and or write by three 64-bit passwords in RF and one 64-bit password in I2C. Data protection and system configuration is protected in write by a 64-bit password in RF and a 64-bit password in I2C. The supply voltage for this board is 1.8 volts to 5.5 volts. However, the Quick Bus does operate on a 3.3 volt max. The full Arduino library that we've written for this board features a read and write EEPROM memory via I2C. It allows you to change the size of the four user memory areas, allows you to apply different levels of protection to the four areas, allows you to change the I2C password, and allows you to read and write NDEF records such as URI, Wi-Fi, and text. And now here's Drew to show us a little example. Hey everyone, I have one of the SparkFun Quick RFID tags here. And the easiest way to get started with this is actually with your phone. I have the NFC Tools app installed, and if I take one of the tags and put it behind my phone, you can see it actually scans the data from it. Down here at the bottom, there's actually, we've pre-programmed these with a link to sparkfun.com. But you can also rewrite these. So if I go to add a record, add some text, and let's say I want to say hi, then we can enter that, hit OK, hit the write button, and then bring the tag to the phone, hold it there for a couple seconds, and then the write is complete. And then if we go back to the read tab and read it again, you can see now we have the text, hi. This is one of the easiest ways to get started with the new RFID tags. We're always really excited to see a Spark X board transition to a full SparkFun red board. So if you are interested in the SparkFun Quick Dynamic NFC RFID tag, pick up yours today from sparkfun.com. Uh, dynamic, yeah, quick, quick dynamic NFC RFID tag. Okay. Even if the project is not bang, and then be able to read them over our, I said, oh, damn. And now here's Drew to show it a little. <laughs> hey everyone, here at my desk. <laughs> hey, this is me in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge. Do you want to be able to write Wi-Fi credentials? Credentials. Quick dynamic R RFIC.